I didn't want to. I'm quite nervous. I'm prepared. I'm also excited as well. Not easy for him to say. He's not the one giving birth, is he? Daddy's gonna feed you. What do you say? Mm, sorry. Because I'm deaf, I'm more aware and more conscious of what's going on, especially of my two children. I don't want them getting up to any mischief, so it's like having an extra set of eyes in the back of my head. Naughty wall. Is that the place? Yep, that's the place. triple check today. Well, I wasn't suspicious straight away, but a friend of mine said, well, why don't you take a pregnancy test? And I was like, I'm not pregnant. And anyway, I bought the test and it was negative. Well, you know, maybe it was a delay in my period. And then another test the following week and it was positive. I was very confused because the first test was negative and this one positive. How was this happening? It just didn't make sense to me. And of course, and of course I panicked because I didn't plan it. And so, okay, great. My plans for the house and the study just sidelined. When I found out, I thought, how am I going to tell him? Should I Skype him? Should I send him a text? I found out Sarah was pregnant by text message. I was down in Palmerston North when I received it. He said, really? Are you joking? I said, no, this is serious. I'm pregnant. Do you want a doctor's certificate to prove it? A few days later, I decided to drive back up to Auckland to see Sarah. And so far, we've been happy and really positive. Both of us were really tearful. We hugged and were very happy. You know, it was a huge blessing. So, how many weeks left? I think roughly 15 weeks, Jared? Yeah, roughly 13, 15 weeks, I'd say. Might end up with a New Year's baby. If it comes early. Oh, don't say that. Double the party. Well, it's not far to go now. There's only 13 weeks left. Oh, nerves are setting in as well. Excited, but nervous at the same time. Yeah, really, really looking forward to it. I know it's a busy day, it gets quite hectic here. Every day is busy, but it's how it goes. Time to go to school, come on. Time to get changed. <laughs> Mummy needs to change Silvita's clothes. No, no, where are your toys? Come on, where do you have breakfast? We're leaving soon. She's a hearing baby. My husband and I are deaf, so we sign a lot. Both babies are very engaged, it's wonderful. It seems like the children automatically look and they're watching for sign language. She's five months old and she already understands a lot of signs. She's always looking around and making eye contact. She actually knows milk and she gets really excited. And she knows bath and her little legs start going. That's jam, that's marmite, honey, or do you want marmite? No? No? Jam? Yeah? No? Just honey? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
both of our children, they can sign, and that is amazing. Their first language is sign language. They're really talking in it. And it's a huge benefit for the family because we know what they want then. If they want a drink or they want anything, anything they want, they can express that using their hands or gestures rather than using their voice and having to speak the words. It could be really frustrating for them otherwise. And I think with sign language, it really reduces the frustration in the house. I think it's amazing. It's really positive to have that sign language in the house. In our family life, it can be really difficult to get Adrian's attention or to get him to look at us. He can be really focused and it can take quite a while to get his attention by tapping him on the shoulder and we have to be quite patient to do that. Okay, thank you, that's enough. Now, just one scoop, yeah, just one, that's enough. Okay, thank you. Thank you, yes, that's the dog's food. And Toby, he's having his breakfast. Adrian, come on, we're going to school. Say goodbye to the dogs now. For hearing parents, they can go along to coffee groups or play groups with the other hearing parents there and they can talk with each other about all sorts of things. Deaf parents, we don't have the same access. Deaf parents can't join in with the hearing parents in those social situations, so dropping the kids off to preschool, I can't even really talk to the teachers there. It's very limited conversation and I can only use gesture there. Excuse me. Today? What are they going to be doing today? Toilet. Yes, today? Open. What will the children be doing? Um, we'd normally take them. Be doing. So that's that's not his? No. So so whose whose is it? And here are. Oh. Um, Just speak yeah. slowly. So. so all the kids are around the table now, so what is it that they're doing? Okay. Okay. What will they be drawing? drawing. drawing. Adrian likes drawing, yes. So they like drawing? drawing? Okay, great. We've got some artwork we'll check, because this is where the artwork is. What, what's so that? His artwork will be in here. So I asked about toilet training, because at home we're trying to get toilet trained, so we thought we'd try and keep it the same here as well. So talking about nappies or pull-up nappies and these kind of things, but trying to make sure that communication is clear, it's difficult. It should be common sense, but basically I had to gesture and, and try to negotiate through gesture just to try and make it happen. Hearing people can just come in and say what they need to and leave. For a deaf person, it really just takes so much more time. So deaf people really do have to be so much more patient, but that's okay. Adrian. Excuse me, he needs a drink now. Can you yeah. can you give him a drink? Yeah. We'll have drink? a drink out of the cup. Yeah. Yes, okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Mum. Bye. Mummy goes home. So going to the antenatal class for the first time, I felt a bit nervous, but it was okay. And what about the hearing couples? You know, we did feel comfortable because they weren't like, oh, they're deaf. They were quite inclusive. Hello everyone, hello. You just have to be really, really careful. They don't need a deep bath, people. They need a puddle. All they need is actually fall forward 
and be unable to lift themselves up. So we've had all the classes with the interpreter, so that's been great. We haven't missed out on anything. We feel confident and prepared. Yeah, and if the teacher goes and talks to another couple, we try and have a look and see what's going on, and we'll ask if the information can be repeated if we need to. The teacher is very, very good at making certain that we do have access to the information and ensuring that we are involved and, yeah, just that we have the whole full story. What's going to happen here, Jared? Your baby's going to go like this. Starfish hands, okay? How easy is it for you to get that sleeve on? It's hard, eh? So this is when they're first born, it'll be easier to manage the baby, right? When they get bigger, they'll start to struggle and move around a bit, won't they? And they'll be rolling backwards and forwards and trying to wrestle oh, them yes. to keep their nappies on, <laughs> things like that. But let's just stick with newborns for now. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Hey, Adrian. Should we go get an ice cream? Okay. So, today's world can be a bit difficult. Victoria will have lots of work coming in, and I need to be really flexible. That's okay. I can look after the kids when that happens. So, which one would you like? Which one? Yellow? Red? Do you like red? That one? With hearing parents out there, you can get a job quite easily, but for deaf parents, it's a lot more difficult. Like, I have to have lots of little projects on the go rather than one job, and I have to work in the evenings. Greg helps with lots of things. We really have to be supportive of each other, so basically it becomes teamwork. True, true. So his top's quite dirty. Does it have to be changed? No, no, he's fine, he's fine. Are you sure? Just leave it? Okay. He's fine. Look at Victoria, she's, she's beautiful. She dresses really well, but you know the kids, they throw food everywhere, they knock it over, they just drop food all the time. So we clean the house and it's all lovely and tidy, but later on it's a bomb site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we asked for it, didn't we? Yeah, it happens all the time. That's what you get with having kids. Oh, of course. <laughs> Do you want more kids? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a book? Hmm? It's bedtime. Mm. Come on, bedtime. So this is Sarah's boyfriend, and his name is uh, Jack Tame. He's a famous TV guy. It makes him more comfortable to sleep with when you're pregnant. It's also my mistress. No, I'm just joking. Oh, Jared's been fantastic. Anything, anything he will do it for me. He doesn't say, oh, oh, he'll put it off till later. He just does it. All kinds of things. I put all my things in the bathroom, Got the duvet on, got my pillow, put the clothes away. Ugh, last bag. Last bag and your man, Jack Tame. Thank you. Going all right? Mm, maybe we need to buy a new toothbrush holder to put the toothpaste in it because 
This isn't really working, is it? A toothbrush holder. Yeah, right. Hey, Dad! Do you think tomorrow we're going to go for a bike ride? Yeah, check the tires. So if we have the baby, where are we going to put the baby? We can have one of those seats that goes in the back. What do you reckon, Dad? Well, they sell things at the shop now where it comes out the back like a trailer and with a hood. Maybe the baby can go in the back of the trailer. So how do you feel about being a big brother? I've never had a little brother before, so... Are you looking forward to it? It's only a few weeks to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I am. I'm going to teach him how to do sign language English. I'm going to help him put him forward into his reading, writing, all of that. And I'm going to teach him how to do lots of sports, especially swimming, because I want him to grow up to be a good swimmer like me. Do you have a hat there? That looks good. It's cute, isn't it, Dad? It's cute. He'll go to sleep in that. Yeah, it'll suit your brother. Typical. Of course. Thanks. You really need to keep your eyes open here. Keep an eye on where the kids go. Oh, there they are. That's great. Great. So, where's the other one? Oh, they're over there. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on. Hey, 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 stop. Listen, going down the stairs isn't safe, okay? Play around here. Well, I got there and, wow, what a shock. Kids just all over the show. I think this is going to be me in a year's time. Oh, I've got that to look forward to. And then I saw Victoria's eyes everywhere watching her boy run around. Are boys quite a bit more active than girls? Um, I don't know, it, it depends really. I guess. Yeah, girls are more easy going. It seems like boys, they're running around everywhere, climbing up everything. Yeah, I think in general kids are just quite curious and they like exploring. And It doesn't matter if they're a boy or a girl. Oh, oh hold on. Poor thing, chasing them around everywhere. So have you got all the clothes ready and all sorted out? Yes, that's right. Clothes done. They've all been put in the wash. Well, yesterday I got to put them away and I got quite emotional. They're so tiny. They're like this size. And I was thinking, next year. No, it's not next year, it's next month. Oh, that's right, next, next month. month. Next month. Yeah. <laughs> They're like this size and I just got Aww. a bit teary. Like I yeah. feel the baby yeah. squirming yeah. and I was like, wow. Okay, <laughs> right. Patient Sarah, calm mm, down. Mm. I've got plenty of clothes and jackets mm, and towels mm, and little mm. things like bath towels with hoods. Oh, they like swaddles. Yes, that's mm. right, stacks oh, yes, of great, clothes. Great. I felt more calm yeah, because nice I had got, got everything, everything ready. You, you can know. see it all there I'm and you know to worry about it. Hey, Jared. Jared, over here. I'm a deaf mum, of course, from birth. So mum taught me to lip read and speak. Logan, he's hearing, so I won't expect him to learn only sign language. He's not deaf. But at the same time, he's got deaf parents. So for me, it's very important that he's able to move between both worlds. You're good. Mama. Thank you, baby. Mama. Is it 
okay, it's okay. Mum's nearly finished. I think being a deaf mum, you just find different ways to to interpret your baby. A hearing mum would rely on the sound of a cry, whereas I rely on his facial expressions, what he's looking like. Oh, and but also his legs. If his legs seem really tense, then you know he's got a sore tummy. So really, just learning to read him and to rely on those visual cues from his body and his facial expressions. <laughs> so you're going to a new school, Kelston. Mm. Hello. Hi. Hi. Everything all right? Great. Hello. Hello. Adrian. Adrian, sit down and watch the teacher. Sit down and watch. So this place, well, we really enjoy coming to this place. It's like a second home because it uses my language and my culture and I feel like that can be instilled here into the kids, you know? And you can see them smiling. You see their happy faces and you know that they all appreciate having two languages. Sign language, using facial expression, you know, tapping to get attention, having that communication. And I really enjoy being able to pass that on to my son, Adrian. It's a giraffe, Logan. Look, it's a giraffe. When did I start signing? Um, when did I start signing, Dad? When did you start signing? Uh, I think your first sign was one, two. You first sign milk like this, like this? No, like this. That's right, you sign it like this. I remember your first sign was drink and you sign it like this. So how old was I? I would say maybe eight months, between eight months and a year. I remember Victoria told me when I was pregnant, you know, you better be prepared. You're going to be changing baby clothes two or three times a day and you're going to be doing a lot more washing than you normally would. And I was like, really? Well, the baby came and boy was she right. Milk spills all over the clothing. Forgetting to change the nappies and so his pants were wet as well. Vomiting on my shoulder so then my clothes had to be washed. Oh, crying again. It's corn. dinner time, late afternoon, it's always a really busy time, always just so busy. The children are tired, we're tired, we have to get dinner ready, we have to get them ready for a bath and they're making trouble and I don't know, we always seem to be on the verge of telling them off. It's dinner time, daddy's going to give you some food. Daddy's got food for you, it's yummy. Yum. It's not too hot? No, no, it's fine. No, Adrian, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 Adrian, Adrian, hey, hey, you just crashed into me. That really hurt. You crashed into my foot and it's really sore. Mummy's foot is sore now. What do you say? Mm, it's okay. Mama. 
so it can be really busy during the day. And at night time, we try to put the kids to bed. We say one down, that's two down, and then that's it. That's the best part of the day. Oh, so I couldn't do it. I tried and tried and tried. Give him to you for five minutes and he's asleep. How do you do that? Have you got magic hands? Can you give them to me? How do I do that? Well, what's the story with that? Um, I don't know. Well, because I tried and tried. Give him to you for 20 seconds. Now he's asleep. I'm just going to put him to bed now, okay? Love you. Thank you, thank you, love you. She's doing really well with Logan. She's really confident, she knows what she's doing, and she hasn't shied away from doing anything. I'm really proud of her. I love her so much. Who would have thought, when I first found out I was pregnant, that things could turn out so perfect? Oh, he's sucking his thumb. 